Hey what's up Michael here and this is the Honor 90 and if I had to quickly describe this phone I would say one it's beautifully good looking, two very well priced and three deceivingly premium. I've been using the Honor 90 for two weeks now and just like the previous Honor 70 series that I reviewed last year this phone is almost too good looking for the price. Starting at around 550 euros you could easily mistake this phone for a more flagship level device. The design is extremely elegant, the colour I have has a subtle blue to grey tone that sits across a mirrored glass back. The phone feels sleek and fits well in the pocket with a lightweight but strong metal frame along with a slightly updated camera cutout. Now one of the major upsides of this phone is the display. It has a depth and clarity to it that really immerses you in whatever app you're using. Even if it's just basic scrolling on a timeline, it looks clean, it looks sharp, text is satisfying to read, the movement on the display when you swipe and scroll is smooth but controlled and colours have a nice clarity to them. This is a 6.7 inch AMOLED display so you get all of the inkiness in the blacks and of course it's still a large screen right but somehow because of the form factor of the rest of the phone it doesn't feel bulky or difficult to use in one hand and even feels comfortable in the pocket. And yet because of the size you do get a nice large crisp display. We have HDR10+, 1 billion colours and 435 pixels per inch so super sharp and there are some other really I would say special add-on features to the display like the PWM dimming which stops screen flickering that will protect you from strain in your eyes. It's also naturally 120 hertz, and you can set the refresh rate to dynamic to save battery. Talking of battery life we have a massive 5000 mAh battery which is bigger than last year's Honor 70. Battery life has been great, comfortably getting through a full day and even into a second and even with moderate to heavy use you're still going to make it to bed without having to charge. Now with the cameras Honor have this habit of just throwing massive numbers around every year. This year the main sensor has gone from 50 megapixels on the Honor 70 to 200 megapixels on the Honor 90. Autos for everyday casual shooting look bright, colourful and generally nice and aesthetically pleasing. This camera system is not going to threaten any of the best camera phones out there but it is certainly good enough for most people and it's an improvement over the previous Honor 70. I've never been a massive fan of Honor's overall processing and colour science because it does have some inconsistencies, sometimes the same sky or scene can look saturated and then another can look really dull and boring. The ultra wide lens is okay as long as you view it on a phone but the consistency between the colour from the main sensor to the ultra wide is again not quite there unfortunately. There is a 2 times digital zoom which is fine, it does a good enough job and I used it quite a few times actually when out and about. Now nighttime photography on this phone you really do need to have a good source of light for the photos to be usable. Any less than that and the pictures seem to fall apart again and I'm not really a fan of how the colours are portrayed and the way it's lit up is pretty over the top as well and not that subtle. But if you do hold your hand steady and get enough light then you can take some nice pictures. We do have 4K video capped at 30 fps and this is very saturated, you can see the blues here really pop and the footage seems fairly smooth in terms of stabilisation when walking about and panning around which is nice. I like that Honor also allows you to shoot video using the ultra wide which can really help in certain situations and that is also capped at 4K 60fps. Now in terms of performance we have the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 which is the same chip that's used in a lot of mid-range phones 
and this is comparable to a Google Pixel 7. It's plenty enough for the average person and everyday tasks seem fast and snappy. Opening apps and loading social media, etc. Super fast, no problems, you'll have a really smooth experience. Now, if you want to move into more intense realms, such as editing photos in Lightroom and applying layers and LUTs, then things aren't going to be quite as fast, but it's still doable. In terms of gaming, you can play something like Call of Duty Modern Warfare on high settings. The game won't offer you the extreme modes in the settings. In fact, you won't even see them presented as options. But in general gameplay, this was pretty good and didn't overheat. However, when it comes to elite top tier games like Genshin Impact, you are going to struggle to play even on low settings. With 60 FPS turned on, it won't be the smoothest experience and after 15 minutes or so, the phone is going to heat up to the point where it's a little uncomfortable. But this phone obviously isn't for hardcore gamers and for most games, it will absolutely be fine if you just like to play casually. So in terms of other smaller hardware features, we have an optical fingerprint scanner, which works well. There is no wireless charging, unfortunately, and no IP rating. And the speaker, we only have one single firing downward speaker, meaning no stereo speakers. And it sounds loud enough, but isn't that rich in detail. So this is what the selfie video looks like. Actually, surprisingly, it goes up to 4K, uh, which is great for a phone of this price. Usually they're at 1080p. Stabilization seems pretty good on the viewfinder. I'm not sure how it's gonna be on the final result. Definitely has some uh, skin smoothing going on. Wow, my skin looks great, that's fantastic. And really nice option, you can pull out and go to the wider angle 0.8, which is much better for blogging. I don't know if it, it is the light or it is smoothing, but I look great and I should not because I just got up. On the software side, we're only looking at two years of updates, which is for sure on the low side. So if you're the type of person that likes to hold on to their phone for a long time, then that's something to consider. Overall, I would say that Honor 90 is a fantastic everyday phone for the average person. It looks great to use, it feels great to use, and at 550 euros or 450 pounds in the UK, I think it's great value in terms of the design, display, and build quality. But if you're more of a power user that wants to game and use this phone for heavier tasks on a daily basis, then perhaps you might want to look for a more powerful chipset. Either way, the Honor 90 was a pleasure to have in my pocket. And if you're in the mood to spend a little more and try something completely unique, then my review of the Nothing Phone 2 is being made right now, so don't forget to subscribe for that. And click here to watch my videos on the previous Honor 70 and the recently released Honor Magic 5 Pro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.